So I was coming back here to get one of these big white oak trees because I need some wood and the stuff's so expensive anymore I can't possibly afford to buy it. But uh, look at this. This one fell down, it uprooted, so it probably didn't rot. And it's been up off the ground. This is where it was, my forks aren't lifting it. Uh, most of the log is up off the ground and it's a good, it's almost two feet across. I bet you that's good wood. So let's see what we can get out of that thing. I think once I pull that apart, that heartwood there is going to be good. You know, obviously there's some punkiness in the sapwood, but deeper in it should be fine. We'll get a look at that in a second. But uh, looking down in this log, looks like lots of good heartwood in there. That all looks good. And then up there, that also looks really good. Money sitting on the forest floor.
Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, the end of this log, it looked good when I looked down in it, but I couldn't see very far. It gets really punky in the center. And unless that goes away very quickly when I get into the log, uh, I'm not gonna be able to use this because I need at least 100 inches, which is uh, somewhere right in here. So I'm gonna cut that disc off and see how it looks. Now, what I should have done is when I was out there, eh, live and learn, I should have made sure. I didn't wanna waste wood. So when I did this first cut, I should have come and done another cut right beside it, taken that disc out and looked at it. Then I could have worked my way up the log until it was solid and then measured the, the dimension that I need. Uh, but now, you know, if I have to cut off any more than like right here, it's gonna be too short. Don't! Nope. Well, that one just became firewood. The good news is that whole log is good and I can actually get two of the length I need out of that one. So we'll still use it. So white oak heartwood is very rot resistant. The sapwood is not, and I'm just going to mill that off. But all that heartwood there is what I'm after.
So I'm just sitting here looking at this, trying to figure out the most efficient way to get the wood that I want. What I'm going to do, I need like five and a half inch cant. In other words, a five and a half inch big chunk of wood. So this big rectangle right there. And then I'll make another rectangle here. There might be a board off of that. And there might be a board off of that. Then once I get the cants, I'll just cut slices off of it. You'll see. My options right now would be to make the cants this way versus this way. And looking at it, I think I'll get more wood if I do that way. So that's what I'm doing. This is called a cant, and that's where this gets its name, the cant hook. It's for flipping these around on the mill. where you get to the productive part of saw milling. I just take slices off and each one's a board. This is white oak and that's a little over eight feet long it's a little over five inches wide so there's about four board feet in that board right now white oak is going for around eight dollars a board foot from the sawmills so this would be a thirty dollar board believe it or not just sitting there on the ground rotting or at least getting ready to rot had I not come and picked it up so after I do this log we'll count them up and we'll see how much value there was that I picked up in that deadfall. I kind of throw them on to knock the sawdust off. Ran out of gas.
So this is what I got out of that one log. That's 30 boards. Three of them are narrower, uh, three of them are wider. The rest of them are all my five and a half, and I can use all of them. I'm making flooring out of this. Um, but board foot wise, there's about four per board. There's 30 boards, so 240 board feet. How about 120 board feet? At $8 a board foot, that's $960 right there. How crazy is that? And the other log is sitting right here. I'm going to make my two cants, turn them up, and cut them together. Which I did, but unfortunately my camera battery died, and I didn't realize it at the time. Cell phone to the rescue. There you can see the two cants oriented vertically. And I'm taking slices off both of them at the same time. So there it is all stacked and from here up is all the stuff that came out of that log in the woods. 212 board feet times eight is $1,600 plus a little bit. Now at these prices, $8 a board foot, that's ridiculous. Uh, you know, I'm thrilled that it's worth that much, but that's kind of crazy. I would never pay that much for, for wood, but uh, that's what it's going for right now at least. That's the actual official what I got out of that log just laying there in the forest. $1,600 worth of white oak. Obviously, if I hadn't screwed up cutting the butt log, I would have gotten even more out of it, but we still did pretty good. So this is enough wood that after I get it dried in the kiln and then get it processed in the shop, I will have tongue and groove flooring for my front porch. All right, there it is loaded in the kiln. I'm gonna get this closed up and it'll get it up to 120 degrees. The dehumidifier will take the moisture out and I'm gonna get it down to about 10% moisture.